With warnings to stay home as much as possible, it is time once again to turn to our kitchen cupboards. And Panita Chitwell Varma joins us with some delicious ideas to make do with what we already have. You have great ideas for this. I do, Annette. And you know, so many of us are cooking from our pantry, and grocery visits are less than um, less than what we're used to. And so, cooking from what we have is the solution. So you're going to make a delicious mac and cheese. You're going to make it even better. <laughs> I am going to make it healthier and better, and it's kid approved. My kids love it, which is my first, you know, it's my first barrier, right? If the kids don't like it, what's the point of making food? <laughs> <laughs> so my um, trick to the mac and cheese is nutritional yeast. I used to think nutritional yeast for, was for, you know, Instagram only. There's so many people, cool people on Instagram who use nutritional yeast. But early in the lockdown, and that's where these recipes really came from. Early in the lockdown, I bought a bag of this and it adds a great cheesy flavor. So even when you're running out of milk and cheese, if you have evaporated, you know, the canned milk, yes. some milk and nutritional yeast, you can make this delicious, saucy mac and cheese. So I've got that right here. So I've got the pasta that I've added in there. You can see some red chili flakes that I often skip if it's my younger one who's eating it. And then I top this with a crunchy layer of oats. So most people have whole grain oats in their pantry and we often don't know what to do with it, right? It's breakfast, add some milk to it and we have oats in the morning. But oats are a great way to add, um, add health and fiber and so many nutritional benefits in, uh, in oats. But I, I often use it as a topping in mac and cheese. So when you roast them, you just put them in a, a shallow pan in the oven then. Do you put anything on them or you just put them in and let them go? So I had quinoa puffs last night. And so I added some quinoa puffs to this and some paprika and salt and I fry them a little bit in canola oil which is great right it's so oh, okay. mild and it it doesn't um it doesn't have its own flavor so it great it's great for um for dishes that you're adding a lot of flavor into and so i stick this in the grill for about two minutes and that's it i have all the recipes in my ebook how to shop your pantry it's on maple and marigold and there's a ton of recipes in there about, you know, how we can use what we have and make delicious, nourishing food that's good for us and is also good for our wallet. Right. And good for the community as well, because that ebook we should mention, a portion of it goes back to food banks. All of it goes back. So it's $19. I'm so glad you mentioned it, but it's $19 and all of the donations uh, that I've raised this season are going to Second Harvest. So, so far, I've donated uh, just about uh, $1,000 to Second you. Harvest. Good for you. Thank you. Okay, that, you deserves, do that deserves a treat. <laughs> it certainly does. And the perfect segue into our treat. So, this treat uh, is extraordinary. If I, if I am saying it, you know, if I'm complimenting my own cooking, then this is what it is. Because it works as breakfast and dessert. Now, how many treats work for both, right? So, so what you see over, yes. So it's nuts, no, it, it's, what is it? It's dates and? Dates and oats, and I've got dates. So we did a little bit of research just before um, writing out the How to Shop Your Pantry ebook, and um, I asked readers what they had in their pantry. So everybody did their survey. We had a whole lot of people who responded to the survey, and dates was often in that list because we buy a giant bag of dates because we know it's healthy, it's great, it's um, rich in iron, and then we don't know what to do with it. And this recipe is perfect to use uh, three cups of dates. So this is this has dates, and you can see the layers here. It's, it has dates and pecans today, but you can totally use hazelnut, oats, vanilla, and a little bit of cocoa. Stick it in the oven at 350 for 20, 25 minutes, and it's delicious. My kids love it for breakfast and dessert. Okay, so now I know what to do. I do have a big bag of dates in my pantry. You are always my go-to person for, I open up my cupboards and I think, what would Panita do? <laughs> so thank you for that, Panita. <laughs>
Yeah, hashtag watch what Kunitha do. <laughs> okay, we'll get the links up to uh, your social media and your blog on our website, chch.com. Thank you again.